Hello ladies and mental chain and welcome to another replay cast. Today we are looking at the M4 Rev, the French tier 8 premium medium tank. I've not really said much about this on YouTube channel apart from it wasn't really worth the grind, but I have really enjoyed playing this after I bought it. Have tree marked it as well, and uh, yeah, I've pretty much found out that this tank really fits my playstyle. This is a, kind of a dumb meme we use on Twitch when we talk about E5, because you know, E5 fits everybody's playstyle because it's just overpowered. But when it comes to this tank, I really, really enjoy having this high alpha damage per shot as it really helps against people who are trying to stream snappy. I have no fucking idea where that fucking shot go. There's no logical explanation on how the fuck would that ever miss, but it did miss, so I cry every time. But yeah, as I said, this tank really fits my playstyle. I think it really goes well with my style in general to just not trade my health off very easily. And when you trade your health uh, like I do in this tank, it works really well. First shot, 530 damage with a fire on the T150 and the T150 goes down. I did take uh, ammo wreck damage right away and that is definitely something you, know, you need to know if you ever want to consider buying this tank. It really is made out of modules. Front is engine, sides are ammo wreck and I didn't actually aim there for three days. It was just a replay bug. But yeah, what I like the most about this tank is obviously the alpha damage. You st still have pretty decent penetration and the ABCR, which makes it so much easier to shoot at longer ranges. The shell velocity just makes uh, life uh, so much easier when you play this tank. And uh, yeah, in general, I mean, uh, this alpha damage combined with a uh, rather shitty chassis, but then again, you can't really expect much more to tier 8. If you had a good, uh, good basis of this gun, then it would have been tier 10 medium, really, or at least tier 9 with, uh, with this gun. But uh, also, the 10 second reload doesn't bother me at all. That's the perfect reload you should have if you want to uh, if you want to get unspotted be between each of your shots. So that's uh, quite important is in this game as uh, it allows you to do max amount of damage, sit for 10 seconds, get unspotted and then shoot again. And that is really, uh, really the optimal amount of reload to have. 10 seconds will generally will be the best reload you can have. That's my biggest grind when I play tanks that have really quick reloads, is that you're kind of forced to always be spotted. That's obviously terrible against artillery, as everything is terrible against artillery. Uh, as playing this game is terrible against artillery, but the 10 second reload uh, allows you to get unspotted between every shot, which obviously helps you quite a bit in that regard as well. Obviously, if you're still too predictable, Artie's gonna shit on your life and you're gonna cry every time, but hey, that's what Artie is here for. To shit on your life so yeah they have been doing their job very well but as you see as this support vehicle i play behind this 112 i just pump 390 shots after 390 shots in this kv5 he can't really do anything about it either because he has already fired and uh sure i'm kind of playing like a unicum scum now and just you know letting my team take the hits but then again i did already take an mr damage which is quite annoying but uh anyways uh now the KV-5 is down, we're gonna go for the KV-3, and this is kind of an awkward fight, as KV-3 actually reloads faster than this and hits for the same alpha, so it is kind of shitty, but then again, that's just Russian things, you kind of have to get used to it if you play this game for more than, um, you know, un un until you get to tier 7, you're gonna realize what Russian tanks you need to be careful of, and KV-3, well, not the best of the tanks, you still need to be careful of, and we do take the second ammo arc damage. Quite awkward, quite weird, as well as... In that angle, the shot would have just, you know, but even if it penetrated me, it would have went maybe more likely to in, into the engine than the ammo rack. But uh, anyways, we take a uh, second ammo rack damage, which is obviously quite annoying. And now I'm not paying any attention because I'm salty about my ammo rack. But the T29 uh, has shots on me. We're just chilling behind this corpse though, so he has to do something else. And we can pump another shot into him. And even if this tank does have pretty bad DPM as uh, on paper, you can still let the see that the 390 per shot uh, plus patience plus abusing your teammates works really well in uh, racking up that damage in the end but anyways we have an e25 well we had an su chaffee and the t20 still remaining e25 should be in the open it should be an easy pick for me the aiming time on this gun isn't actually that bad the general accuracy in aiming time the accuracy isn't that important because you have abcr in general it's so much more reliable than than ap and um uh, and uh, the aiming time isn't that big of a deal because this tank is rather slow, which makes the, you know, the aiming time not to be uh, to appear as bad as it is, for instance, on the CDC, where uh, on paper the aiming time isn't even that bad, but because the tank is so fast, the uh, aiming is all over the place, and this all skill. 
professional world of things, player, streamer, community, computer, contributor. Uh, all those things together made me hit that shot, so only the most skilled players in the game could hit shots like that, and luckily I'm among them, so well played. Also, what this gun is reasonably okay at is one-shotting Artie, even though at this tier even a 390 Alpha is not enough to one-shot the Arties unless you roll high, but uh, yeah, the last enemy obviously left alive is the Artie, so let's get one-shotted by him before he even gets spotted, because that is fair and balanced, and... Uh, and let's call it the day. And before the game is over, the equipment I use in this is Optics, Rammer and Vert Stab, so on pretty much every other tier um, 8 plus medium tank in the game. And it works reasonably well, and the crew skills obviously you won't have as, well, for this tank at least, it is a premium. And uh, here is the game balance, so well designed, so well managed, we get spotted. Uh, and it takes so long for us to actually get to see the Artie. This is so fair. Artie can fully fucking aim at me before I can even see him and do anything about it. But you know, artillery, it's well designed, well balanced. The, the gaming industry's professionals worked on this, let me remind you. But anyways, he misses because, you know, he is bad at rolling dice and I kill him. So yeah, there's the game and let's look at the end plates. So Ace Tanker, High Caliber and Tank Sniper. 6,487 experience with that triple, 4,639 damage done, 168 assisted uh, along with 5 kills, and after the repairs we made 103,000 credits as well, which is not too shabby for the fact that this tank isn't really known to be the best credit maker in history. We did snipe quite a bit, so that reduced our credit gain and experience gain for a fair amount as well, but that's kind of what this tank does, uh, and uh, I really do enjoy playing this every once in a while, so I hope you guys enjoy this uh, replay cast, and I'll see you on the next one.